It's exactly where I want it. Well, Dak, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. Well, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Thank you. And nobody can hang with my stuff. Just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. Nope. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So right now, I'm on my way to City Alignment. Once again, we're going to adjust the coilovers a little more, make them a little bit stiffer. Also, we're going to lower the rear end and probably raise the front because it's, it's a little too low. It's scraping on a bunch of stuff, but we're definitely going to drop the rear. And we're going to see if we can get that fender roll today. So stay tuned. And we're back here at City Alignment. So let's check, see if this thing settled at all i don't know if the front did the rear definitely did not drop whatsoever that shit's still chunky with a big old wheel gap goodness and then this fucking thing so bro's gonna come fix this only gonna charge me 100 bucks which is not that bad and then Cisco said he maxed out the coilovers and then softened them eight clicks. They have so like 32 clicks, they have like 32 clicks. Yeah. Trying to figure out how many clicks we should go to max stiffen them. them max them out? Yeah. Nah. You jump a lot. I want to say maybe three, three for maximum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's maxed out. So maybe do th three less. One, two, three. Damn, where are you gonna be jumping? Really? You think so? Yeah. If anything, I'll just I'll adjust them on the fly. You, like, you daily drive the car too, so it's like you gotta do it before you drink it. Yeah, for sure. I recommend A because it was feeling good. Mm. But if you're gonna drift it, at least max them out. The problem is this one. You have to carry a tank with you all the time because this is on top of it. Very convenient. Yeah, we definitely need to drop the rear. So the front is fine. Um, because that's how it was before. Well, I mean, like, wait, like when you had your lower springs, though. It might have been a, l a tiny bit taller. Uh, okay. So maybe raise it a little bit. I'm gonna get a new tire soon. No, I know, but like the same like. Oh, the same tread and stuff? Tread, it was like, this one looks hella like fucking... It is hella like knobby, almost like, like mud tires, kind of. Yeah. But, um, the other ones are like more low profile. The ones yeah. that you had. Yeah, this that's true. Like, you want cheaper tires? Ah, <laughs> nah, these are still good tires, but... Eco-safe. Eco-safe. Saving the world, you know? Mm -hmm. One tire at a time. But, yeah, the the next tires I'll get, they'll be a little less... Yeah, that's little I'm pretty sure knobby. that's what you need on the front. If I was you... I like the height right here, but I mean, if you want to like lift it, we can lift it. I mean, let's do the rear and then see, because it might like almost raise the front up a little bit in a way, you know? Maybe. All right, we can do the rear. And it, it pretty much stay the same height. Yeah. Now, yeah, this one, I'm just going to keep the preload like that and then just lower the, the rear strut probably like half an, half an inch. I'll say half an inch. Right yeah. Here. You're probably like right at the tire. Alright, I can do that. Yeah, probably like three quarters, maybe. And everybody's gonna be like, what the fuck is this fool using his fingers? <laughs> I know my sizes, alright? <laughs> Real professional. <laughs> this oh god threw up the shocker. Comment down below if you know what the shocker is. So this is the before. So you guys should remember bro from last time he's the one who fixed this fender made it look perfect
this one easy to get out? Uh, it's, I mean, we got another one right here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just need a little bit of time on it, maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Okay. Where I could put my line on it and kind of get, get it working out. We don't have to do it today, another we day. We can do it another sure. day. Yeah, just take my number and uh, if you have some time, bring it here. And uh, I can do it in a minute and a half, about two hours. All right, cool. Yeah. Make sure you guys go check him out. Mills Dents, that's his number right there. So this is what the rear coilover setup looks like. This is the strut coil, obviously brand new. And it already has rubber on it. I like it. So we're gonna lower the rears, stiffen them up, lift the front, and stiffen the front as well. What's up, Bob the Builder? Filling a big gap from this. Jesus, hold on me. You can see it better on this side. I keep it on me. God. Boys over here filling in Death Valley. is soft I know one two three four five six seven eight one two three try to settle the suspension. Didn't do anything. It went up. Yeah, it did. So what are you doing? I'm just looking at it, you know. Yeah? It's pretty, huh? Yeah? I mean, after I, you know, lower the whole stuff frame. <laughs> yeah. Quick work. DC. Fuck this. This is shitty power. Make sure it's low this time. Not all the way. That's a little bit better. Sure. Yeah, that's better. Way better. Way better. I think that's cool. And it's still, yeah, that's some money right there. Yeah. Hopefully it settles a little bit. Okay, you were right. Yeah, see? Raise the front a little bit. Drop the rear. Nice, nice. Yeah. It's just like those tires on the front are like yeah, they're hella, hella knobby. Yeah. 28. Even? Yeah, pretty much, huh? Yep. 28 even. Alright. Got the coilovers all adjusted. Stiffened. Stiffened the front and rear, I think, five clicks stiffer and that's three clicks away from maximum stiffness so it should be good now i shouldn't have any problems with the fenders hitting we lowered the rear about an inch and a half or an inch i'm not sure but yeah now i'm about to drive it around go see if it'll settle a little bit and then come back tomorrow get an alignment done because bro's super busy today and then it'll be good to go to drop off on friday now let's go drive it around a little bit, try to get the suspension to settle, 
and uh, see how stiff they are because I could already feel they're a lot stiffer than when we first put them on. So yeah, it's definitely a lot stiffer now. Still feels good, still smooth, it's not too bumpy, but you could definitely tell that these are coilovers. But don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing whatsoever. After driving around a little bit, this thing looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie, the front is like the perfect gap. The rear is settling down a little bit more, but it's like, it's exactly where I wanted. I didn't want any wheel gap whatsoever. The rear is fucking perfect, like exactly how I wanted. The front's pretty much exactly how I wanted. Perfect wheel gap, got that piece of fender tucked in. Bro went crazy on it, like usual. Last time I had him fix this side and it was pretty much the same exact thing that happened. But yeah, both sides, perfect now. But yeah, so far, super happy with the coilovers. After we adjusted them and stiffened them up a little bit, I can definitely feel the difference. But it's hella dope because you can just adjust them on the fly. All you have to do is spin that little knob on top of the coilover. And it's pretty much like the active ride. So if you're looking for a new suspension for your Hellcat, I strongly recommend getting the BC coilovers. No, I'm not sponsored by BC. No, they did not help out at all. I paid full price for the coilovers. But if it's good, I'm gonna advertise it and show you guys so you guys don't have to go through the same trial and errors that I do. I'm for sure gonna have to put more miles on the car, but so far, I love them. Shout out to BC. And that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. Make sure you go check out the links down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Doses.